What's up, everybody? It's Matt Johnson. We are back with another episode of the Level Up Podcast. I've got Greg Harrelson with me. We've got an amazing guest here today. And man, we're talking about chatbots and Facebook Messenger, ISA, segmentation of roles, and uh, basically the future of real estate lead generation. This is going to be uh, an incredibly interesting and, and deep dive conversation. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so I don't want to waste any time. Let's get right to it. Greg, how are you today? Man, I'm doing fantastic. Excited as always. I know we were just kind of having a chat with uh, with Michael Reese here before we uh, went live, and uh, I just know we're going to deliver some fresh content and have a conversation today that I really haven't had or heard of in quite a while, or at least live on any podcast or Facebook Live. So I'm ready to dive in. This is exciting. Yeah. Well, Mike, for those that may not know who you are, just briefly catch people up on, on your work and, and your work with the NAEA, and then what are you doing uh, mainly nowadays? Yeah, um, I'm actually a co-founder with um, uh, the National Association of Expert Advisors, and you know we really focus on helping one agent become the go-to agent in a market by just providing them with systems and tools, and um, just helping them, you know, with their customer acquisition and and really um, positioning them different than the average agent in their marketplace. So that's what we focus on, um, and and we do that really under kind of the brand be. be being positioned as the expert advisor. Um, right now, I would say the things that we're working on here is, is we're just really working on what I think is the future of, um, you know, ha how business is managed um, in an agile development, you know, kind of environment, um, especially with, you know, I, I've, I, that's probably one of the things I'm ex the most uh, excited about as we scale our business, how we scale and bridge the gap between marketing and sales. And yeah. um, specifically, you know, where's the custody of that relationship and, and, and how do you design a, you know, a, a customer journey that allows you to really deliver a great experience? Um, my philosophy in digital custody, um, I, 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 I bought a domain and I'm designing this shirt. And so I'll tell you, I've never told anybody about this, but this <laughs> is it's called Digital President. So I bought digitalpresident.com. And it was because I believe in order, you know, I was so moved by the election on how much effort goes into somebody, you know, delivering a message in which they stand for and getting really crystal clear and, 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 and really, you know, understanding, um, you know, people who do that in a marketing sense, who do a really good job at it. Right. So like, what did Jed Bush stand for? Right. I talked to the guy that was brought in, you know, um, um, when he was basically at 3% of you know, in, in the polls, and he brought on a really strong brand guy who dialed in his message. And and I've never just been more fascinated with how to really simplify and clarify your value proposition and how you communicate that in a way to your customer. You know, I think the most left out client is not the home seller and it's not the home buyer. It's the home owner because they own their home for seven years mm -hmm. and you have to have a, a plan, a strategy. Um, that's where the relationship should be owned. And um, so that's what I'm passionate about. And, you know, I believe that with technology that's out there, um, there's just so many things that we can do and um, in a way to provide that value. And the people who are really coming from a, a preeminent mindset of, delivering results in advance and, and really treating their customers um, deeply and getting connected to them, I think are the people are, that are going to build brands that you just look up and um, have tremendous amount of depth and value to them and, and huge. And I'll, if I had one word to say, I would say community. You know, how do you build a community around something that stands for something um, that's that's kind of, you know, online, whatever that whatever that is. So um, yeah. your brand is, is the perceived desire that's owned in the client's mind. And so, you know, mm -hmm. I, one guy was talking to us, a brand expert and he showed an earring and he said, if I put this earring, um, next to Tiffany's logo, how much do you think it's worth? That was after he already asked them what they thought it was worth. And then they put it next to a Walmart logo, which then just made it look like really cheesy. It looked like a really nice earring next to Tiffany's. And then for some reason, like right there before my eyes, the value was devalued. And so I'm just very fascinated with marketing, probably really going to be working a lot on branding and how that translates into your online presence and all your communication. So 
Let me, let me let me let me let me just pull out a nugget that uh, that he he shared with us, and he he probably has this conversation so much uh, with his peers and and um, and in, inside of his own head, he probably doesn't even hear some of the nuggets that he's dropping on us right now. But what I heard you say is that it's not necessarily about owning the relationship with the buyer or owning the relationship with the seller because by the time we have a relationship with a buyer or a seller a transaction's already going on what you're saying is it's all about having a relationship with the property owners that are, may not even be thinking of having of doing a, a transaction of becoming a buyer or a seller so I thought that was worth just kind of repeating because that's that's a whole different ball game most of the drip systems that are out there have to do with I just captured a buyer lead on the internet so now I'm going to communicate with that buyer lead right so how are we going to start figuring out how to have relationships and communication with people that are not even thinking about a transaction have you put some thought to that yeah so I think it's community I think it's I think to me the people who do that the best you know I got a guy who's um, masterminds with me and he puts all of his he's a he's an internet marketer by trait, but sells a lot of real estate. But he sells real estate, I would say, um, in a way that's very automated. And so I'm always fascinated because if I was actually selling homes every day, I would do it like he does. And um he has a Facebook group that every buyer goes into. Every single buyer. And then he's marketing properties to this group when they're coming soon. And I'm not joking, he went he did a live share. And literally showed all the homes that he's double ending. So he created a system that then created community that then leveraged that community and, and actually put a value around it. So like, you know, he really says, you know, like if you look at Frank Kern right now, he's doing things in Internet marketing. He's doing things in a private community. He actually said, I no longer do that online on my Facebook. It's now all done on a private community. So like even with my book. Um, the inside sales predictability just this week, I literally took all the free downloads and I moved them into a private community um, because my this is my theory with digital custody. If you win the crowd, you win your freedom. When you win the crowd, you win your freedom. And so you have to win the crowd. And the way you win the crowd is standing for something and then delivering on that promise and what you stand for. And re getting really, really clear on what is the problems in the marketplace that you are the best in the world at solving, and then how can you put the handles in the uh, around that marketing message, and then how do you communicate that in a way where you know your brand that you have in the marketplace is known? Um, you know, the the funny thing right now is, um, you know, my my wife now goes to next door for every vendor she looks for because we just found the most amazing painter. Um, and then my wife, uh, she doesn't realize that I'm studying her behavior when she's doing these things because I'm just, I'm like, <laughs> just so you don't what did you just do? that. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, why did you, why are you doing that? And she was like, oh, yeah, um, I'm doing, hold on one second. That's actually her calling. Sorry. <laughs> So that was her. But the, the point the point is, is that um, is that, you know, it, it it's it's people are looking for community. Next door is taking it. Next door is is um, is going to be the place that people go and trust because real estate agents are leaving that window of opportunity open. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Well, I think one of the things that I've been in discussion with, um, you know, in the past, and I think it's in alignment with what you're talking about here, is that, you know, in the beginning, it's like everybody wants to be part of this massive group, and let's just call it Facebook. Right. And then all of a sudden what we started seeing is groups follow, you know, come in to, to come into play. And people said, I want to be a part of Facebook, but I also want to be a part of this group. And I think what I hear you saying, and I've kind of been in conversations about that, I think the future is going to be, well, I don't really care about being part of Facebook, but I really am really caring about being a part of these groups. In other words, we're, we're we, we are connected to everyone in the world, but we're actually choosing to spend our time in smaller groups that are more uh, more focused on the conversation that we want to have at that time. Do you agree with that? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Mike, uh, that leads us into 
into kind of the next part of this that I wanted to get into because we've talked about, you know, strategic level concepts like the expert advisor and stuff. And people should absolutely go read everything that Jay Abraham has ever written um, for more detail on that. But let's go tactical for a second, right? Because there's a subset of Facebook outside of the groups, which is Facebook Messenger, which you're also tinkering around with. So let people in on what you're experimenting with a little bit with Facebook Messenger. Yeah, um, right now, you know, the, the, and, and can y'all see me still? On my end, it froze up. No, as long as so, can yeah, see I was gonna me, say I'm we good. lost your we lost your video feed, and um, uh -huh. yeah, so we can we can hear you, and we Here just we can't see you. Yeah. How about now? Can you see me now? I can mm. see you now for some reason. Yeah, we can't, unfortunately. There you go. There. All right. Well, All right. Perfect. So All right. um, yeah, yeah. So um, these the these bots. I mean, right now, if you go to HubSpot has a bot. If you go to your messenger, um, first of all, with with bots, what you're able to do is you're you're able to go in and have strategic conversations. So there's things out there like mini chat. That's well, we tell us what we tell, built a whole. Tell us what a bot is. Let's go ahead and start it. Like yeah. making sure that the yeah. audience. Because now we're getting into we're getting yeah. into a whole yeah. nother level right now, Michael. So let's let's, yeah. let's slow okay, it down. A, slow down. A, a bot is blank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A bot. It, it's basically an automated communication channel that's done through um, Facebook Messenger. And what happens is um, when you in the future, what they think of is I went. And, you, you'll go to your instant messenger and you'll just message. Uh, your bot to set you up a, um, a table at a restaurant and it'll reply um, back to you. How many people can I add people? It will be an ongoing conversation. Um, and it's also what, what, if you want to get an Uber, Uber is going to be, Hey, I'm right here. It'll be more of a, in a communication format that will make what they think they're is going to make all the apps really less relevant based upon how we interact. We have to go find the app. And then do this. You just go to the messenger and message Spotify. I want to listen to this playlist. You know what I mean? Or however it's going to work. However everybody. Um, but but with real estate, what I think it is going to be is I. Um, it, it's there's no question. Um, you know, I'll give you an example. I shared this the other day. I got a family member that is um, going through a divorce, and um, they are trying to figure out you know, exactly how much money she is going to need in order to live, you know, and this is something like I'm watching and I'm not participating in this conversation, um, but I'm watching it happen in front of me. And I could, I was just, you know, a, a, a estimated net sheet, all these questions people have that they reach out to their agent for, um, all of those things could be um, predefined. And so, you know, if, if, you know, whether it's, Hey, I need property brochures. Um, Hey, when do we do a price drop? Quick question about this. I mean, any question that can be anticipated, that's already probably been asked. You can create a really awesome um, dialogue with your client. And, 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 it, and, and again, this, the real main thing is when I went and did HubSpot, um, that was the first one I downloaded was I was interacting with this guy and I asked him about keyword research. And it was like, he was like, keyword research, what do you want it for? Boom, boom, boom. And I mean, I was going back and forth on keyword research and it was, I was moving, like having a lot of progress. And 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 so with the homeowner, like it, it's like next door, if you know, it, can a real estate agent position themselves to say, hey, listen, you know, you can message me if you need anything, whether it's about the builder home warranty being up in a year, whether it's about your tax tax appraisal, and how to you know negotiate that tax rate down and the steps to take anything what you want to do is you want to study the homeowner and the questions they have the first year in their house you know whether right now i have a huge hookup on furniture i have a tear i mean really good i mean i get furniture at like cost um and and so like anything i can do to help my homeowner and trans you know add to the value and giving them advice and direction um, if you can get them interacting with you on instant messenger, instant messenger has a unbelievable open rate and it, you can broadcast out to them once they're on your, your, your messenger feed. So it's almost like the direction of what email used to be years ago is once you built, like people are now building these communities of messenger, people who have basically signed up to say that you can message them. And so it is, it is, um, it's a, it's obviously a higher level opt-in, but there was a lot of, um, 
a lot of amazing stuff that's being leveraged there. And I just think that the homeowner is going to ultimately get what they want, whether it's through next door or their agent. And if the agent can be entering this conversation sooner, um, you know, the message could be, hey, I mean, why are they going to a home value site in the first place? Why didn't they just message you if they bought the house? Right. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. it, it, I mean, just think about it. It's yeah. just, it just makes sense. And so, you know, what I would like to do is drop a door hanger that said, Hey, message me here with any, you know, first of all, people, technology people, they like to mess with bots, right? Like imagine if you could, you, the neighborhood <laughs> robot, right? You and, tell people to try I mean, to break it. Like, like seriously, test yeah. me, try to break my, my chat bot. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. So when I was, so when I was at Facebook, when I was at Facebook about a year ago from an Inman conference, I was around there and we went to a small group, went to, to Facebook and they had said, and I just don't think a lot of people really believe this.